This plant is a sulfide ore processing plant. It's suitable for sulfide copper, lead, zinc, etc. The capacity for this plant can be customized as per request such as 10 TPH, 50 TPH, 100 TPH, etc. For example, the raw material is sulfide copper. The plant will begin from the feeder. Generally the feeder we suggest using is a trough feeder or vibration feeder. For smaller processing capacity, like less than 50 TPH, we suggest a trough feeder, and a vibration feeder for big capacity, like 100 TPH. Then the raw material will be sent to the first crusher jaw crusher to crush to a smaller size. Then the belt conveyor will send the material to the second crusher. For the second crusher, we'll recommend different types of crushers according to your ore situation. For copper ore, if your processing capacity is less than 50 TPH, we suggest using a fine jaw crusher, bigger than that, you can consider a cone crusher. The next main equipment is a vibration screen. It's with one layer 20 mm screen used to screen the sizes more than 20 mm and less than 20 mm. The material of more than 20 mm will be sent back to the second crusher via belt conveyor to crush again. The material which is less than 20 mm will be sent to a fine material hopper. A magnetic vibration feeder will be installed beneath the hopper for feeding material to the ball mill at a given speed. The ball mill generally will match with a classifier to work together. The ball mill can grind the 20 mm feeding material to 0.074 mm. The later flotation machine required feeding material size. The output material from the ball mill will be sent to the classifier. The classifier will send the material size of more than 0.074 mm back to the ball mill to grind again and send the 200 mesh, 0.074 mm, material to a tank then will be sent to the mixing tank by slurry pump to mix with chemical agents. The next main machine is the flotation machine. After mixing the ore material with chemical agents intensively, the mixing liquid will flow into the flotation machine. The flotation machine has different quantity flotation cells, depending on different processing capacities. The concentrate separated by the flotation machine will be sent to a concentrate tank, the tailing from the flotation machine will be sent to the first group of spiral chutes by a slurry pump. The spiral chute is one of the gravity separators. It can separate different specific gravity materials. Generally have three kinds of output, concentrate, middling and tailing. The next part of the main equipment shaking table also has the same function. The concentrated material separated by spiral chutes will be sent to a concentrate tank. The middling will be sent to a middling tank and then sent to second group spiral chutes to separate again. The concentrate from the second spiral chutes also will be sent to the concentrate tank. The middling will be sent to the middling tank. And the tailing from both groups spiral chutes will be sent to the tailing tank. The next process is using a slurry pump to send spiral chutes to concentrate tank material to the shaking table to separate again to enhance the recovery rate. Then the separated concentrate will be sent to another concentrate tank. Middling and tailing will be sent to another tank. The next process is using a slurry pump to send both flotation machines and shaking table concentrators to a thickener. You'll need to add the given chemical agent to accelerate concentrated sedimentation. The last process is using a slurry pump to send the concentrated sediment to a filter press to dry the concentrate to a very low water moisture content. That'll be the final concentrate copper you need. The other sulfide ore process plants are also similar to this. We'll customize the suitable processing plant for you and confirm with you before purchasing the plant equipment.